Jay-Z here with Flashpoint Radio for a breaking news update. Uh, it's Thursday, June 28th, 2012, and America has died. I am near physically ill after hearing the news about the Supreme Court and the ruling regarding the Affordable Health Care Act, Obamacare. Uh, it was upheld. Almost overwhelmingly, Chief Justice Robert sided with the, the liberal-leaning judges and stated that since it's a tax, they, they, they say that the, the individual mandate forcing you to buy private health care insurance is a tax. And since it's a tax and not a, a force, that Congress has the authority to require that. I haven't I haven't done full research into it. I'll obviously do more and come back with a an in-depth report later this evening. But you can be sure that 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 this country's done for. If if the Supreme Court upholds this, then anything is possible. The Congress can tax away ammunition, firearms, they can force you to buy uh, anything, I anything, absolutely anything. If uh, Congress believes that you have to buy GMO corn to keep the, the greater good, uh, it's a tax. Buy GMO corn. If you, if you have to put high fructose corn syrup into a syringe and shoot it into your veins to keep the rest of the country safe, uh, it's a tax. It's legal. I don't know... I I've lost words to explain my fury at this decision. This is as it was meant to be, though. I, I believe God God has a plan, and, and this is in His plan. God, God will get us through this no matter what, but uh, Congress can do anything. So look for, look for them to do whatever they want now, because the liberals and, and the uh, socialists and the fascists, they'll be emboldened to do anything on any sides. They want to force you to put a TSA scanner in your bedroom or have the TSA pat you down? That's a tax. The tax pays for the TSA. Congress can do that. Uh, anything. Anything is possible. Any form of tyranny is now legal in this country because the power to tax is the power to kill. Uh, it's the power to take your substance. This is... The new revolution. This is the beginning of the new American revolution. The first revolution was started because of a tax, and damn it, this is a tax, and and it, and this is going to begin the next revolution. Now, now this will play directly into the Republicans' hands. Uh, Romney and all of the surrogates, all of the neocons, all of the talking heads will get in line, and well, I would say Romney will probably be elected in a landslide because Democrats will go to sleep. They got their health care passed. It was upheld by the Supreme Court, so they won't vote in November. Obama will be knocked out of office. Romney will be ushered in uh, with a Republican-held House and a Democratically-held Senate narrowly, and all hell's going to break loose. He'll, you know, the House will introduce repeal legislation for Obamacare, and, well, then things really break down because... The legal precedent has been set for tyranny in this country. Uh, tyranny from unelected bureaucrats that write our bills. Your legislatures did not write this bill. The bankers wrote this bill. Giant private multinational corporations wrote this bill. And now, the Supreme Court, the highest law in the land, those that are supposed to uphold the Constitution, and not case law, which they're judging from case law now, not purely constitutional, and they've taken the weakest way out possible. That supreme law of the land has declared this country no more. This is no longer the United States of America, a republic. This is now a democratic, socialist, fascist nation, officially. Mark this day. June 28th, 2012, a Thursday, 
the last day of the United States of America as we know it. It's over. You have nothing. The government can take it at will, no matter what it is. They can force you to take something, force you to buy anything, or they can take anything away from you. Just call it a tax. Now all us, now all us crazy people who say let's abolish the IRS, we're not so crazy anymore, are we? If you had listened to Ron Paul all along and not taken a side route and defended the Federal Reserve and the IRS, maybe we wouldn't be in this mess. But then again, have you even heard from Ron Paul? Has anyone even seen him? Has he given a speech or a public appearance? No, he's absent. We need a new champion of liberty. I don't care who it is. I just hope there's a lot of them. Jay-Z, signing off. I'm heading to pick up my black tuxedo for the funeral for this great country. Flashpoint Radio is over, but I'll be back. Your freedoms, they will not. God bless. Keep your eyes to the sky.